And we've told you about the pot products recalled over pesticide levels. Well, now the governor says pot treated with pesticides is a threat to public safety. In an executive order, the state says all marijuana grown with unapproved pesticides must be destroyed. Denver 7 reporter Jennifer, Jennifer Kovaleski is live in Wheat Ridge. Jen, you got to see some of the lab work that found this problem. And Gobi Analytical is on the forefront of marijuana pesticide testing. Right now, we're inside the lab where it all happens. They're trying to figure out exactly what's inside products like these and whether or not it puts users at risk. When the state wanted to know how serious the problem was, they called on lab director Peter Perrone. What are we looking at here? Well, now, this is a sample prep area. His lab, Gobi Analytical, has spent the last six months testing marijuana products for potentially dangerous pesticides. The main concern is that people are smoking these pesticides. What they found may surprise you. When I first started, it would probably be about 80% were contaminated. Perone says many marijuana growers were using some of the same pesticides used on crops like apples or strawberries, which was industry standard at the time. But his lab found those pesticides don't work the same on pot products. But these pesticides, for some reason, stay in the cannabis plant much longer. The evidence leads us to believe that it could have a, a negative health impact, and so that's why we're just not willing to take that risk. The state put out this executive order to send a clear message about unapproved marijuana pesticides. Don't forget, we don't have the FDA um, to do the food safety testing uh, because they can still consider this illegal. Several city agencies inspect dispensaries. As of now, there is no regular pesticide testing of the products themselves. And Instead, regulators act after tips or problems found in previous inspections, but that could soon change. The CDPHE is in the process of developing the process um, for certifying labs to test um, for pesticides. I think that's very important to make sure that these products aren't used. Now, mandatory pesticide testing is the next step in all this. Perone tells me that he believes almost all products no longer have those unapproved pesticides. The governor's order just makes it clear that there is now zero tolerance. Reporting live in Wheat Ridge tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.